What we're going to be looking at here is depletion of natural resources and we're specifically going to be looking at timber here. That's what you make lumber out of. And for our example we're going to be looking at a changing depletion base here for this timber and we're going to have to determine what's included in here. And for our example here, Corporation A, a lumber company, goes out and purchases 10,000 acres of forested timberland here and I'm just throwing out this date here, uh, March 1st, 20X1 here. And they paid $3,400 an acre, that's with the timber on it here. And if it was valued with a, as cleared land or it had no timber on it, it would be valued here at $1,600 an acre. And then they built log roads and on it here on uh, March 1st through uh, July here at a cost uh, of $500,000 for these logging roads. And that's going to be part of our uh, depletion base here. And then they've gone out and they purchased some sawing equipment here, and I've got that shown here uh, for its uh, cost and salvage value and so forth. But we're not going to really be looking at it in this problem because it's not part of our depletion base here. It just be capitalized and depreciated separately here. But what we do have here is this timber, and we have it classified here in terms of board feet. That was what comes out of the timber here, uh, the lumber there that we're going to sell. And that's defined here in board feet. And what we have here for years 20X1 through 20X2, we have the uh, amount of board, board feet that are sold here and then available uh, to cut here. That's the estimated amount of board feet sitting on these 10,000 acres of land here. And that's estimated each year here by somebody that goes out and um, determines how much uh, timber is standing and how many board feet you can get out of it here. And then we also have uh, yearly maintenance costs here to spray and preventive disease and maintain the fire lanes and roads here. And what I want to point out here, these are expensed each period and they're not part of the depletion base here. But what we also have here is each year here they're going to plant some new seedlings or some new small uh, trees that are going to grow up and mature into full grown trees someday here. And I've got them shown here for March they do that in March each year here for 20x2 and 20x3 here. Now these are restoration costs and they're part of this depletion base here. So let's go up and look at how we calculate or compute our depletion, depletion base each year here. So for their depletion base here for our timber in our first year here at 20x1 they started up the operation our cost per acre was $3,400 that's with the timber on it here the land cost alone here uh, with the cleared land was $1,600 per acre so the difference here gives us our timber cost on this land here of $1,800 here per acre here and we have 10,000 acres we purchased so the total timber cost here are valued on the land is $18 million now we have to uh, uh, add in our logging road cost here of $500,000. So our total depletion, ba depletion base here for 20X1 is $18,500,000. So here's our total depletion base. Now uh, to determine the uh, how much our depletion expense here for 20X1. All we do is take, uh, well, we sold 540,000 board feet. Of a total available to cut was 6,750,000 board feet. So the fractional amount here that we depleted here was uh, 8%. So times our total cost, 18,500,000, gives us uh, $1,480,000. Now, that's our depletion expense here for 20X1, and it's actually going to be is part of our cost of goods sold here because this was our uh, amount sold here based on our amount that was sold. Now this is again this is based on sales not on production here so this was our depletion here expense we uh, calculated here based on our sales. Okay now let's go here for computing uh, the depletion base here for our timber on 20x2. Well we have our we take our depletion base here for 20x1 here of eighteen million five hundred thousand dollars and then we have to subtract the depletion here that we had on this acreage here uh, for 20x1 1,480,000. Then we have to add in our seedling costs here, seeding for new trees here $240,000 and that uh, we do that because that's part of the restoration cost here. So our total depletion base here for 20x2 is $17,260,000 here. And again this is where we take the uh, uh, based on our 
uh, sales here. We sold 774,000 uh, board feet here, and then the total available to cut here for that year here, 20x2, was 6,450,000 uh, board feet. So the fractional amount here would again be 12% of our total depreciation base here for 20x2, and that's going to give us our depletion, depletion expense here for 20x2 of 2,000,000. Uh, seventy-four thousand two hundred dollars here. So just to go over that again here, a depletion base for twenty x. We we taken our depletion base here for twenty x one that we had up here, and then we subtract out our less the depletion that we took here for twenty x one, one million four hundred eighty thousand, and then we had it added in our seedling cost here. So that was our total depletion base here. Just referencing it back to our previous year here. So uh, again, moving on here for. Uh, our depletion, depletion base here for our timber here in 20x3. Repeat the same process. All we do is I take our depletion base here for 20x2, $17,260,000 here, and we would subtract our depletion here that we used for our depleted this uh, forest, our uh, timber land here for 20x2 of $2,071,200. We've taken that here. Plus our seeding cost here for the year here of $300,000. We add that in. So our total depletion base here for 20x3 is just our sum total amount here. Uh, of netting our amounts and we come up with $15,488,800. Now again just take the uh, based on our sales here amount sold uh, $650,000 board feet here. Total available to cut for that year here was $6,500,000. So again, the fractional amount here that we depleted was 10% of that. So our depletion depletion expense here for 20x3 was $1,548,880 here. Okay, now this is uh, Again, we went through these and we determined the fractional amount here based on, just looking at it here, based on our previous year's de depletion here, we uh, determined our new depletion base here. And we had to include here in any restoration costs here, a seed, seeding cost here. Now, uh, what we've done here is essentially this. We uh, calculated our depletion expense here based on a cost per unit or the production method. So let's just look at what we've done here. We take our total cost base here and we divide it by the total estimated units available and that's going to give us our depletion cost per unit. So just look at this last example here. Our total cost base here was $15,488,800 dollars here. We divide it by the total estimated units available here of six million five hundred thousand. Divide that out and you're going to come up with a two dollars and thirty eight two point three eight uh, three uh, dollars per board fit. So two dollars and approximately thirty eight cents here per board feet. So what we've done here again on it for our sales for the year here we had six hundred and fifty thousand board feet that we sold take that times the uh, our depletion cost per unit here of two dollars and thirty eight cents per board feet and you're going to come up with one million five hundred forty eight thousand eight hundred eighty dollars and that was our depletion expense here for 20x3 so you just go what we've done with our fractional amounts here in each of those years here uh, we just it was based on this um, cost per unit formula here. Total cost for the cost for the base here for the year here divided by the total estimated units available is going to give you your depletion cost here on a per unit basis. All right, so you've seen how we've gone through that here, but we've done it here just by taking our fractional amount here. And again, this is based on our depletions based on the units sold here, not the units produced here. Okay, now let's go and look at how we just record this here. Again, uh, I'm just showing the very basics here. We uh, have our accumulated depletion account here on our balance sheet here, and that's based on the timber, uh, timber to board feet cut here, and I've shown it here for based on our sales each year here, $1,480,000 for the first year here and then so on for the next years here. And then uh, for our, what we would do here is we'd recognize the credit goes to our accumulated depreciation here uh, on our balance sheet which reduces the carrying value of the uh, this timber land here. And then the debit amount here 
goes to the depletion expense here, and that's the timber board feet sold on our income statement. Again, that's for our cost of goods sold here. So uh, for our first year here, uh, accumulated depletion here for our timberland was $1,480,000 here. And then for the depletion depletion expense here um, on our income statement, we get a debited for that amount here, $1,480,000. And that I'm just showing here for 20X1 through 20X3 here. So this is just the basic entries that you would make here on your balance sheet here and on your and recognize it on your income statement as an expense on your income statement and and, a, and uh, against our accumulated depletion account is similar to accumulated depreciation but this is uh, for this natural resource this timber here this timberland so we got accumulated depletion here now in a sense here when you're dealing with this timberland it's a little bit different here because you can plant new trees and you can and then they can grow up and you can recover them it's not like you're it, it takes many years here but this account here depletes it based on on what we have sitting here on the land at the time whatever is available on the land and then what we've taken off it so with timber it's a like a renewable resource here and it hand, it's handled a little, little different here than mining or some other oil operations so where you actually run it down or you deplete your resource in that particular area. All right, so that takes care of our uh, changing depletion, depletion rates here uh, for timberland or timber that we make lumber out of.